Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to talk about compression stockings and how to put them on. Hey, my name is Shayla Rose and that's me. I'm the author of the book Stuck on the Sidelines and I'm on a God-led mission to help educate others about the realness of invisible illness. I'm a POTS warrior with a heart for helping others. Join me as I break down the barriers and blaze the trail towards awareness, understanding, and hope. So many people struggle with putting compression stockings on because they're so tight and they can just be really challenging if you're not used to them. For those who are not aware, compression stockings are really tight stockings that you wear on your legs and they help to keep the blood from pooling in your legs. So a lot of people with POTS wear them. I've been wearing compression stockings for probably close to 10 years now, every day, and they help me a lot on my journey with POTS. Um, they help to keep the blood from pooling in my lower extremities and overall they help me to stand for longer periods of time and just really help my symptoms a lot. These are the compression stockings that I wear. These are called True Form um, and this is the range that I get, 20 to 30. I get 20 to 30 because that's what was recommended to me from by my doctor um, and I also opt for the toeless ones as you can see here. They do make different kinds. Um, I used to get the ones with toes, but I found them to be kind of hot in the, in the summertime. So I always get these ones, and yeah, without further ado, let me show you guys how to put them on. So the first thing I do is I make sure that the stocking is inside out. As you can see, you can see the uh, silicone band right here. So the next thing that I do is I stick my hand through just like this, all the way through to the other side. Now my fingers are sticking out in the foot part. Now I'm going to grab the heel part with my other hand and I'm just going to carefully and gently pull this through. So now this is what it looks like. You have your silicone band here and you have your heel part of your stocking here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part, the heel part, and I'm just going to slip my foot in just like that. And now I'm going to take the stocking in little increments and I'm going to gently pull it up. I do this in like four inch increments, I would say. So just gently pull it up. Just like this. And then get to the top and you're just going to flip this band over just like that. What you don't want to do when you put stockings on is you don't want to, hold on, let me show you guys. What you never want to do with compression stockings is you never want to take the band and just pull. You never want to do that. The reason is, is because you'll actually stretch your stockings out um, and it will ruin your stocking. They won't be as tight anymore and they'll start falling down your leg. <sighs> oh, sorry guys, I'm so out of breath. Um, yeah, so like I said, never pull your stockings up by the top. Always do little increments like I did in the first stocking that I put on. And... Um, this is POTS, you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so always put them on, like I said, and if you don't do it that way, you could ruin your stocking. In fact, the first pair of stockings that I got years ago, I ruined because I didn't know how to put them on correctly. I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys and that it helps you as you put your compression stockings on. I just wanted to mention real quickly that there are different types of compression stockings. There's obviously different brands and different colors, but there's also different styles. So I wear the thigh high toe list compression stockings, but they also make compression stockings that go up to your knees and they also make the pantyhose kind which go up to your hips. I've tried the pantyhose kind in the past and I found them to be kind of uncomfortable, um, especially if, I, if I'm bloated 
which I know a lot of potsies tend to struggle with that. Um, but yeah, they're also really challenging to put on. But everybody likes, you know, a certain type, and, you know, some people might find those to be more helpful than thigh high and vice versa. But I just wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention that you have to be careful how you wash your compression stockings. So compression stockings are really delicate, and you have to treat them that way. I have always hand washed my compression stockings. Um, so basically, I just hand wash them, and I never rain them out you know, like you would a towel. I never do that. And the reason is because you could potentially stretch them out by doing that. And in turn, they wouldn't be as effective. Um, so yeah, I hand wash mine. I have heard of people who have had success putting their stockings into a laundry bag and then throwing them into the wash machine. Um, not the dryer, of course, just the wash machine. But I personally have never done that. Um, but I've heard of people doing it with success. I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any questions related to pots or compression stockings, feel free to reach out. And as always, keep on keeping on. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope that you'll consider sharing and subscribing to my channel. To get a copy of my book, Stuck on the Sidelines, or to read my blog, I encourage you to check out my website, www.inspirepots.com. And as always, keep on keeping on.